the long-standing row between Sudan and South Sudan rearing its ugly head yet again. This time round, Khartoum formally putting Juba on notice that come August 7th, it shall stop all supplies from its young neighbor. Reasons? Khartoum accuses Juba of supporting rebels fighting its government. Rather than wait for the deadline to elapse, South Sudan has moved swiftly to reduce oil supply through Sudan by 100,000 barrels a day. Caught in a tighter corner, the African Union says it is addressing the dispute between the two countries. Both heads of states have confirmed their acceptance of this proposal. They have confirmed their, the availability of their governments to contribute to the successful conduct of this investigation. The AU has completed the formation of the team and it would be deployed as early as next week. The AU's special high-level panel, headed by former South African President Thabo Mbeki, has burnt the midnight oil in efforts to achieve a truce between the two neighboring states. But this journey has been fraught with political potholes. We remain optimistic that uh, this light at the end of the tunnel and uh, the issue uh, can be resolved uh, very well and uh, we've done very well on the Sudan and South Sudan uh, issue. Apart from the investigating team, African Union has also formed a team of experts to be sent to the two countries with a mandate of suggesting a non-binding scientific solution to the border dispute between the two nations. But the economic implications of halting oil supplies is haunting. Any economic hardships affecting the, the people in either one of the two countries will have a negative impact on the other one. That is enough a reason to plead for a spirit of responsibility and a spirit of compromise. Many say perhaps the nations need to resolve their clash via international arbitration. Juba will cut its oil output to 100,000 barrels a day over the weekend with the final goal of a full shutdown. This move is a blow to the economies of both sides, which were hit hard by South Sudan's 16-month oil shutdown in a row over pipeline fees and disputed territory. Flows of oil, the lifeline for both, had only recommenced in April. Grumjala CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.